In a recent live stream, Pokemon says her editor told her he couldn't make deadlines because he was busy touching himself to her videos while editing them. So here's my story. Many, many years ago, when I was like super omega active on YouTube and I was working with a lot of different editors. There was one editor in particular that I would work with a lot because his edits were really, really good, but he had one major problem, which was that sometimes out of nowhere, his videos would just be like a week or two late. And when you're trying to upload consistently and when that's really important for the algorithm, it's kind of a problem. But his edits were fucking heat. So I was just like, I don't know. I was like trying to make it work with him. And I would ask him, like, is there anything that I can help with? Anything that I can do to kind of like make it easier to be on time? And like, you're welcome to tell me if you're going to be a bit slower with the upload so that maybe we can work around it. Blah, 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 blah. Months go by and... He messages me out of the blue and he says, hey, do you have time to talk? I'm ready to finally tell you why I've been struggling so much with deadlines. And I said, oh, like, great. Hopefully this is something that we can fix. Tell me why he proceeds to tell me that the reason why he would sometimes turn around videos a week or two late is because he couldn't stop touching himself. I was trying to pick which word to use. To me, his in a way employer of many, many months. When I tell you I've never halted a conversation so fast, because I'm like, you are the person that I send like hours of footage to i don't want to know what you're jacking it to i don't want to know more i shouldn't i shouldn't even know how much i know right now i shouldn't know but i felt so bad and i have firsthand experience kind of seeing how much ew don't uh, where's that sentence going i have firsthand experience seeing other people struggle with addiction so firsthand shut up i mean like i've seen people that i've even lived with struggle with addiction so when he's like you know like this is like an addiction of mine i genuinely i genuinely felt really really bad so i still paid him for months <laughs> just because i i i didn't want to be the reason that he like didn't have enough money i don't i don't know you know was it extremely inappropriate of him to tell me yeah i also didn't tell anyone for years and then years later i told my manager and she's <laughs> she looks at me like this <laughs> she's like bitch the fuck i was like yeah i was too shy to tell anyone <laughs> um yeah it was a little kooky beans it was a little kooky beans but like n there is no guidebook on what to do in a situation like that you know what i mean what the what the hell do i do what's a kill what the fuck fire him am i even allowed to fire someone because they're because <laughs> they're jacking off too much i don't know ah! i don't know <laughs> I was like, is that um, prejudicial? <laughs> is that prejudicial? I do, I will say like, I really, really have a soft spot for addiction. Um, and I explain why in next week's podcast episode, I tell a story that I've never told before and you guys will understand why both in this instance and why I've been so outspoken against the promotion of gambling on Twitch and how important regulations around things that are addictive are. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, y'all get it, right? Anyways, what a story. I'm really on my yap shit today. <clears throat> That's a crazy thing to admit. But I guess honesty is the best policy.